You check in, but you don't check out. Welcome back to another edition of Tea and Toys. Oh, next up we've got the Studio Series Retcar. It's number nine of the 86 subline. Rumours has it that we are going to be getting um, one of the other Junkions. Who it's going to be? One of these guys. Can't tell you. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. We don't know. Well, oh, let's have a quick spin of the box. Again, some lovely artwork. I love this artwork on these boxes at the moment. It's so good. On the back of the box, you see obviously red car bike mode. And there he is in robot mode with his axe that he fights Springer with. Get the dive arm as well. And here we have Retgar out of his box. Now this is a really nice figure. I really, really like this. It just works on so many levels. Obviously the scale of the alt mode will be a bit out with every other character because it's designed for other Transformers to sit on him and have a ride. But here he is, the leader of the Junkions. Consider an Autobot sometimes. There he is, Autobot on his instructions. It comes with a diorama like everybody else. It's like this background piece on Junkion with the was it Minnow? Is it Minnow on the back? And it comes with the two wheels, which can be detached, like so. And looking at this and loving the GoBots as I do, man, I know there's a third party that's doing a cycle, but oh, this has just got a cycle run over it. If they can, well, I say they. Like I said, I don't like Hasbro owning them, or at least a part of them. If I had the money and the clout, I would 100% do a GoBots toy line. But I'll talk about that in another video. Let's um, run down with Retgar. So obviously you can clip the wheels here and here, and here and here, so you can have them on his legs like so, or have them on his arms, or vice versa. Sleeve them off like that. Comes with his axe. I think, I think all the red have come with an axe actually. So there's his axe. Got his battling Springer. Let's get his right hand. And speaking of Springer, let's bring him out. Again, another Voyager class figure. Springer is. So you can actually have a proper like battle with these two. And then Springer. What's annoying is that Springer again was this great figure that just didn't appear in the Siege Earthrise. Kingdom story arc. And I think it would have been a great addition to the series. You know, they put in Spinister there, they put Barricade in there, and who else was there? Flywheels was also in there, but not Spring and not Ape Face from the Siege line. A bit of a shame. Kind of missed the character being there. Maybe for another series. Maybe for another series. But here he is battling Retgar here. And it's great that these two are both Voyager sized figures. They look great together, so I'm definitely going to have a few battle poses on the shelf with these two fighting it out across Junkion. Um, not that I'll keep the dryer on for much longer, but there they are. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's enough playing. That's a bit close uh, Move his nipples. Oh, just, this is amazing. I cannot wait when they do more of these junk heat, scrap heat. Um, Wasteoid Gamma, to name but a few of the Junkions that I can name right now, because I can't name them all. But yeah, this is fantastic. I love this. Uh, there are add-on kits for it. I'm not going to go down the route of filling in holes like this. I could care less about these holes. Um, but yeah, let's go in bike mode. And let's get Springer on there. And here we have Retgar in his bike mode with Springer riding on top of him. That's quite cool. Well, Springer is probably a little bit too big. And saying that, Kind of designed so you can put two Junkions on, so, and I think all Junkions are going to be Voyager class for that reason. But when they do the next one, I think it's the one from is it the Starscream's Ghost episode. Can't remember his name right now. It's really bugging me. But yeah, I actually really like it. It's not the prettiest of modes, but it's there. You've got both the wheels on there, and I think it all rolls nicely. You've got the two the stands as well, so you can stand like that. Put those away. Let's do a roll test. Okay, maybe it didn't roll too good on a smooth surface, but he's designed to be riding across like a plane of junk. Now, the one thing with 
the junkie on scene. It's, it's, I must admit, it's, it's probably the one part of the movie I, I genuinely don't like. You've got the poor Autobots just been shot down in outer space, been tracked down again by Galvatron. They're attacked. Ultra Magnus is blown apart or ripped apart, depending on which version that some people have apparently seen. Don't believe them. And, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, instead of helping the Autobots, the Junkions act like some absolute dickheads. And then they start attacking the Autobots. And thinking, you just seen these guys getting their asses beat by these baddie looking guys and you'd go after them I don't know I just I know they're meant to be like portrayed as a bit xenophobic I just think it could have been done better but in saying that I do love the film but it is rife with errors and issues I always kind of wanted there to be a connection between Junkion and Quintessa like getting Junkion to help them rescue Cup and Hot Rod from Quintessa and Kranix or Arbalest. I don't see why he had to die and the other one had to die as well. I just, yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those things. Little things you sort of think of in hindsight after watching that movie and loving that movie. Let's not say it. I did, I did love it. Let's get back to the toy. All in all, yeah, I'm happy. Is it the prettiest mode in bike mode? No, but it's designed to have somebody else sat on top. So when they do the other 10, I think I'm going to be on board with at least a couple more Junkions. Yeah, as long as they do look a bit different and they don't look like carbon copies of Retgar here. Obviously, I can imagine a, a much of them would use the same engineering and a lot of similar parts. Yeah, looking forward to it. So what do you think of Retgar? Did you like that scene in Transformers the movie? If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.